So in this video guys, I'm going to show you an easy to run supply stockpile route which is one of the best ways in the game right now to raise that gear score watermark. So you want a 600 gear score watermark for all your armor pieces and weapons. This is one of the best ways to do it right now. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and to give back to you guys, I'm giving a single person the chance to win 10,000 marks of fortune. To be with a chance of winning these, simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Make sure you are subbed and have those notifications turned on. I will be picking winners at the end of the week from my comments section. So the more of them my videos you do support me on, the more of a chance you have of winning and good luck. So credit must be given where it's due. The original poster of this route, as far as I'm aware, is Flanker New World. His channel can be found linked below. Although my route slightly differs to his with easier options in getting some of these chests, it's down to this dude I could make this video. Also, I will include a crazy exploit that you can actually use to grab a majority of these chests without enemies bothering you, even if you are standing right in front of them. It's crazy, so let's go. So it's obviously within the Shattered Mountain area. Um, there's actually 14 chests in total, as well as a dude you can farm at the end if you want to called Fader Lash Protector. Uh, I'll pinpoint all 14 on the actual map right here. Like I said, it takes about 30 minutes to run. You may as well farm the boss at the end who spawns in every two to three minutes to fade the last protector because he also helps with that uh, gear score one mark two. So once you get to the end of the route, you may as well farm this dude for 30 minutes and then reset it if that's what you want to do because like I said, these chests respawn, uh, reset after an hour. So it starts top left right here within this bear cave now you actually don't have to fight this bear at all all you need to do is kite him out so yeah that's why i said a ranged weapon it's really helpful fire staff uh bow you know gauntlet whatever even a musket may help just kite the bear out like i just did now it works two ways you kite him out and sometimes you'll stand at the the face of the cave stand up if he walks back in he normally goes to sleep or lies down in the middle Either way, it doesn't really matter because if you jump down here and then you crouch walk, uh, if he's if he's standing at the front of the cave, you crouch walk as soon as you drop down, walk around. If he's in the cave like this, lying down, do exactly what I do right here. Just walk around, avoid him, and you are good to grab this uh, stockpile. Now, you don't have to worry. I mean, I was a bit nervous while recording this, not going to lie, but it's all good. It's all good. And there you go. You get the supply stockpile. And like I said, this all helps with that gear score watermark and these you say in every hour you can do it quite often and get quite a few materials as well uh, so as you want to exit the cave you will draw his attention if you run past i mean you can you can crouch walk past him if you wanna or you can just run up the rocks like i do it is really as simple as that guys it's pretty pretty straightforward you can lie down here lose his aggro you can do what you want to do it's up to you but the next uh, spot we are going to actually go to right here. It's actually, I'm going to demonstrate a little trick, which the original uploader didn't actually mention within his video. Um, basically, if you've got enemies chasing you or you go into a room, which we will do today, and there's actually a, a chest there, you actually lose aggro from those enemies. If you stand on the chest, it only doesn't work with the archers and the dudes with the guns. Anybody else, if they got, if they're chasing you, they want to swipe you, they want to stab you with a, a spear, hit you with a hatchet. It doesn't matter. If you run into a room and there's a few enemies in there, if you jump on top of the stuck pile, as long as they don't have a a bow or a musket, the enemies will lose aggro on you and they will retreat, which is kind of weird. But I'll demonstrate it to you guys right here. I mean, this actually isn't a chest you need to get for this specific run. But we will run here anyway. I mean, I ain't going to pinpoint it. This is actual next uh, supply stop how we're going to run to. I will actually, I mean, it's 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 underway. So like right here, there's a chest right here. So we're going to go here and I'll demonstrate it to you. I think it's a provision stop pile. Can't remember off the top of my head, but it's worth your time grabbing it anyway. And I can demonstrate to you exactly how this works. So I'll just obviously uh, grab the aggro of a few enemies as I'm running to this, a few of these big old crazy stags that weirdly enough just want to destroy you uh, but it is it's pretty simple oh, there you go. i've got one chasing me right over there. 
no surprise, no surprise, dangerous area, but yeah, that's what I said, um, a fire staff, musket, a, the ice gauntlets, a bow, they all really help out, because there are a few enemies you will have to kill, if there's a few chests you want to grab, I mean, there's one which is surrounded by so many ads, if there ain't people in that area, which we'll come to in a minute, there's no point in probably grabbing it, you'll probably just die, and it's just not worth it, but if there's, if there's people in the area grabbing the aggro of some of the ads, you can normally just run past them as I do in this video. So as you can see, there's a chest right in this room and you'll witness this right here. I'll run in this room, I'll jump on top of it. You don't even have to, you don't even have to lie down. You don't have to go prone. You can stand on it and they still lose aggro. As you can see, all the enemies are retreating. They can simply just stand back up guys and grab it. It is absolutely crazy. So yes. Okay, so the next one is the one I pinpointed, as you can see right there. So yeah, we're going to run to this one right here. Yeah, there's one in this one, and then there's two in the one after it. There's one here where there's three in there, uh, but we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that, guys. There's a lot of running in this. Like I said, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a decent route if you want to raise that gear score watermark, as you know you do. I mean, I personally, I'm doing, I'm not doing it that often, but I know a lot of people would want to get your gear score watermark up to 600. I'm happy with this stuff I can buy because I sell so much. I like to play the game to buy and sell. Uh, so I can buy more or less all 600s now if I wanted to, uh, but I'm in two minds now whether I should just do my watermark up because there's not much else for me to do in the game. So I just may as well grind that watermark. But I have got enough money to buy that 600 gear, so it doesn't really bother me that much about it. So we're coming into the second part here and I just want to run past all of these dudes. Do not stress about them whatsoever. We're going to take it right after here. Just, just keep running. They'll, they'll be on your ass. As long as you've got potions, you'll be fine. Run past all of these. I mean, these chests you can actually grab as well. As long as there's no one with muskets or bows because they don't lose aggro on you. You're going to jump on the uh, crates. So yeah, this guy right here. Bit of a pain in the ass, but don't worry about him. Just jump straight down. He won't follow you off, so you're fine here. Run into this room. Run upstairs. And there is normally a couple of ads in here, so you do have to be careful about that. Uh, they ain't got a muskets or balls though, so you're fine. So run up here, jump on top of this crate, and just grab it. This is one I already grabbed, but it's fine to do that here. It's completely fine. Like I said, they, uh, they go into retreat mode, and you're free to grab this chest. Okay, so the next one now is... Uh, where are we? Where are we? There we go. It's right there, and there's actually uh, two in here. But we have actually got a little bit of a sneaky way of getting in the back route, so that's what we're going to do, and that's what I'm going to show you. Now, this is the actual one I was talking about, where there's loads of ads surrounding one of the uh, the crates, which is one you may want to ignore. But like I said, if there's people in the area, you're good to grab it because they will grab all the aggro of the enemies, and you'll have enough time to run up there and uh, grab it, like I'll showcase in this video. Also, that's the best way to get out of that fort. Yeah, just run up the steps over the side of the wall and you are good you are good now there are actually a few chests in all of these forts this is just mainly about the supply stockpiles uh but if you want to grab the other chests while you're doing this you're completely fine to do that like i said as long as there's no muskets uh dudes no longer no archer dudes you are good to grab just jump on the chest and the enemies just normally retreat and ignore you as long as they don't fire shit at you if they fire shit at you it don't matter where you're standing then motherfuckers are gonna shoot your ass so yes, so we do have a run here of about, it's about 540 meters all together. Uh, but the first chest is so easy to do, you don't have to run in the, the front of the fort. You can actually go around the back, which is what I'm going to show you. You can climb up a few rocks and just jump straight in. But yeah guys, uh, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Amazon have actually made the game. I don't know if they reverted the chest. I didn't, don't read too much into the patch notes because a lot of the things are what they say and do don't actually make it into the game or they mess it up along the way. But I think they may have reverted the chest, the elite chest, because I'm actually getting decent loot back out of them now. So it's all good to go. I don't think the boss are as hard as they were either, which is great. That truly is great. Okay, so when you see this mushroom, you know you're in the right place. So you want to run past this actually this actually ain't the spot i think you probably can uh, make it up onto them rocks where you could do the same thing i'm going to show you but everybody uh, not everybody can do that so the way i'm going to show you everyone can do it's a 
piece of cake, guys. Piece of cake. Okay, so I think it's just around this corner. I mean, where I've pinpointed on the map, it looks like I'm running around it. I'm actually not. Yep, here we go. That's the mush that's the magic mushroom. That's the magic mushroom you want to be aware of. This is when you know you're coming to the right spot. So we want to get through or get around the back of there. So what you want to do is just run up to this uh this corner and jump. It is as simple as that. If you want to go back in the video and pause it on the exact, it's literally that exact spot you need to use. An inch to the left, an inch to the right, it don't work. And from up on here, you just want to jump onto that roof. If you miss it, it doesn't matter. It's all good and dandy because we're going to jump down anyway. I mean, you can jump here. It doesn't matter. You want to jump down anyway. And you'll see here, uh, we have an enemy there. Ignore him. Don't worry about him. We have an enemy there. Don't worry about him. Jump on top of the, the supply stockpile. And you'll see. They're like, uh, well, he's up on top of that chest. So you know what? Forget about him. Ain't worth our time. And then you can just grab it, guys. And it is really that simple. <laughs> absolutely craziness absolutely craziness now like i said this next one um is at the the face of the fort and it's surrounded by enemies and i mean people with bowls i think there's most there's a big old priest here and she just shoots you. i mean it's it's hard to get it's hard to get if you're a solo player and there's nobody else in the area um and i'll, I'll demonstrate that to you guys right here now what I normally do is um, I'd actually get out of the fort. I won't run straight down and I'll do it this way. So I'll go here, go left, run up these stairs and jump over the wall because there's a lot of ads that will follow you down as well, which you don't want. And you want to lose their aggro. So yes, jump off. And there you go. Make your way to the face of the fort. And you are good, people. Now you'll see now, luckily for me, when I was recording this, because this is pre-recorded, guys, and commentating over the top of it. That's where you've probably seen a few cuts here and there. Let's try and find some uh, shorter routes for you guys. Now you can see there's a few uh, allies in here. So you can see they're grabbing the aggro of the enemies, but so I just run past them all. But normally you wouldn't stand a chance. You just wouldn't stand a chance. I mean, you can pick them up from afar. If you've got a powerful uh, build on a, a bow, a fire staff or gauntlet or something like that, picking them up one at a time would work. But it, I mean, if you haven't, you're probably best avoiding that if there's no one else in the area. And there you go. you're good to go guys, jump over the back of the wall, come to this route, and now we go to the next fort, which is right next to it. And there is uh, another two here as well. And this one's actually, I think this one's pretty straightforward. And this one isn't too hard. I think you may have to use your ranged weapon to take out an archer or a couple of archers because the one stockpile is at a point where it's surrounded by archers so you may have to sit back on a rooftop as I'll show you to take them out uh, but again if you're lucky enough and people are in the area grabbing their aggro you won't have to do that but I think I actually do have to take a couple out but like I said it shouldn't be too hard for you but once you get into the fort guys this is what you want to do you want to run up here because this is the first one we grab so we run up here ignore all the ads as we do as we do from past this one, you want to lie down behind it if you've got aggro on you. If you haven't, you just grab the stop. I don't matter. What I did was I lied down after I grabbed it just to lose the aggro because I had enough time to grab it before they come up here, which is cool, you know, which is a real cool. So the other one is right there. So yeah, actually, no, this is one. Is there, Did I say there's three in here? I meant there's two, there's three in the next one. There's two here. But this one, you do actually have to Stand on the roof at the back and take out because there's lots of archers here. As you can see, I'm running past a few, a few here. And they, they cap your ass. And when there's five or six of them shooting at the same time, it's pretty rough. So you jump on this roof and the archer will just ran past you. Actually come on this side, I can't get you. But you'll see here, I've actually got a few uh, people here grabbing the aggro. So I actually cut the video here so I can showcase to you guys where a couple of these archers will spawn in. There's one right by the chest. Actually, I think there's two right by the chest, but you can draw the attention from here. There's one that spawns there too. And I think there's one that's by that uh, chest you can just see above him. But I can't really, I can't remember. Honestly, guys, I've run this a couple of times and I can't remember. So you can see, I've actually, if I fly across here, I love the fire stuff. Fire stuff and burnout is just so helpful. You can see there's one right there too. And I believe there's normally one around the corner. So you may have to kill these guys as well. So again, like I said, that range weapon really helps you out. 
but it's only like i said it's only the archers you need to worry about because the other guys you can jump on top of the stockpile and they lose that aggro on you and that's the actual chest right there which i've already grabbed so we jump straight over the wall so that's good we're good to go we're good to go so from here guys is the one i believe is there is it this next one is two actually no it's not this one it's not this one either <laughs> there's two here the one after this is true. I'm getting my. I'm, I'm tired, guys. Uh, cut me a break, alright? Leave me alone. Stop bullying me. So, this next one here, there's two. The one after this, there's three. Okay? So, there's two in this one. There's three in the next one. So, um, this one, as I recall, is actually quite straightforward. Two, I don't think there's any killing on your behalf required here. I think the hardest part about this one is just running here. Other than that, you are good to go, guys, I do believe. I do I actually use a little bit of a shortcut and jump? Yes, I do. I use a little bit of a shortcut to grab the one at the, the back of this fort first. So yeah, that's what we do. Follow I'm doing on screen now, and I think we run to the end of one of these rocks. Yes, we do indeed. And we just jump in. It is that easy, guys. This one, there is normally an archer standing at the front door, but going this way you normally don't uh you don't draw his aggro but if you do you will have to kill him so if there's an archer there and starts chasing your ass you will have to kill him but you can see where i am on the map right there i mean literally just have to jump onto that roof right in front of us so we jump onto that and you can see where that guy's just coming running out there's a supply stockpile right in there so we jump down and we run up Again, enemies in here, don't stress about them, jump on top of this and you'll lose your aggro to them. Just like so. Grab that chest guys, grab that chest. Now this last one, you will have to kill um, an archer not to grab the chest. It's just because he will come running to you. I mean, you can initially run past him because it's right there where I've pinned it. You can run straight past this dude, but he will come running into the building. So it's best you just kill him anyway. I mean, it isn't too bad. No, I, I meant to say that. Don't jump out the front window, guys, because you'll probably get slayed. Come to the back window. Oh, is this the back, the front? I don't know. The way you come in. Is it the back, the front? I don't know. I don't know, but you don't want to go. You want to go on the way, <laughs> the side you come into the building. Simple as that. Jump out. That's the actual archer. Or is, is that the archer? No, there's the archer. There he is. There he is. He, he draws your attention. I mean, you could kill him right there if you wanted to. Uh, you don't have to have an arranged ability to kill him. You can use anything to kill him. But the supply stop pile is right here. And he does come running, so I just slay him. It is that easy, guys. Now, the next, the next fort is the one that has three chests in it. Three chests in it. Let me destroy this dude first. I actually need to upgrade my uh, fire stuff. It ain't too powerful at the minute. Um, but yes, okay, so the next one is just a little further up. So we'll see, it's right here. There we go, La Lapsus is that? Lapsus, that's the one, and that's the one that beholds free, guys. That is the one that beholds free. And it's actually pretty straightforward too. I'm not sure you have to kill anything within this one to get these chests. I think you can just run and grab them. But I'll obviously remind myself when I see the footage. I'm a bit of an idiot when it comes to this kind of thing and plus sometimes I run these and uh it's like when I'm running the merc guard chest the elite chest I'm telling you something it's like it's random in terms of enemy spawns sometimes I run there and I know some teams can run through it and clear them out but sometimes I'll run through there and there's like two of a big enemy in one spot and I'm like what well, what's he doing there unless the game's just glitching out so this guys I hope you saw how I got out of that fort but yes it's literally the one route you can go to the next uh, fort anyway but yeah some of the some of the uh these runs it's like random with the enemies out here like i said i know certain enemies can move spots and just i don't know i don't know it's new world we're not new was like new was like a bit a bit crazy it's a bit crazy and there's unfortunately there's no secret route into this one you have to go through the front so you have to run past all the ads but it's, it's not too bad guys it's not too bad so we actually go through the front and I think we just run past all the ads and we go up these stairs on our right. So we run through these, run through all of these. Don't worry about all that red 
glowy flames if the, if you have that. Yeah, you want to run this way, jump up on here. Sometimes the game just doesn't let me jump at all. And again, you want to hide behind this chest if you got the aggro of enemies. You lose the aggro. Let's grab that supply stockpile. And it is as easy as that, people. It is as easy as that, people. So the next one is in that room at the back. So we just simply jump down behind it. I may as well grab these while I'm here. If there's no ads for you here too, guys, grab away. Grab away, you may as well. No point in wasting those materials. No point at all. Okay, so run up to run past this tree that's somehow growing out of wood. Or planks. Grab this. There's normally an arch here, guys, so you can't grab that one. There's obviously another team has come through here. Um, don't mind if you fall down because we're going in the back door anyway. So, I mean, I think you can jump through the back window, but it's a bit of a pain in the ass. But again, jump on this chest. I actually jump on here, and I'm fine, but that, that other guy comes in and jumps on. Mid, like, the, the enemy is already going to attack him anyway, so it's like a mid, mid attack. They completely ignores me. Again, if you stand up here long enough, they will retreat, and they just completely ignore you, so you are fine to do. And I do think he comes back, actually. And he grabs it. There you go. There you go. So the next one, people, is right about there. Literally right, so just jump out the back window. And you are good. Now, that, like, there may be an enemy here. And there may, uh, the few times I've run it, there hasn't been anyone that's too bad here. But what I would normally do is, I mean, there's an archer there, but it doesn't really matter because you jump behind this one. Me being a noob here, I try and go up from the, from the front, trying to be smart. But you can actually jump behind this. And you'll be completely fine from the archer, so you ain't got to worry about him. Actually, I do remember this now. I remember calling this. This is one of them faulty chests. The chests that just don't give you jack shit. They just bugs out. I, why have they not fixed this yet? Why? I, I used to experience it a lot, lot more. But now, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a stuck part again. I'm getting it. Craziness. I just give up on it, guys. I just give up on it. Pain in the ass chest. So I want that loot. I just want that. I'm determined to get that loot. But nope, it's not giving me. So we want to jump over here and run to a safe spot. So I can pull up the map and show you where to ne uh, go next. So that's the the one where there's three. Okay, so this next route is right about there it's right there and here there's actually one i don't know why i said that show on the image you're showing the images uh one or two at the start i'm not sure i do believe i say there's 14 all together i said there's 14 all together because there's an ancient chest where the fade last protector is at the end where you don't have to fight him to grab the chest but um yeah there's a chest there as well which i should have probably mentioned at the start but i said there's 14 i meant there is, there is 14. So from here, ignore the things that will be chasing you. Don't got to worry about them. They need to run to this bridge. And run across the bridge. Ignore all the aggro. You will be good. You will be getting. No doubt about it. I mean, you can do this as well in a team if you want to. But this is they're mainly made for uh, solo players. Because I only play in like a couple of pals. I mean, I, I don't take this game way too. I know there's a lot of people out there that take this game seriously. I'm not like that. That's why a lot of my guys are made for the, the casual players. Uh, the easy ways to make gold and the easy runs and the easy routes and things like that. So yeah, from here as well, guys, this is a little sneaky, sneaky one. Normally, you'd have to fight that archer. But if you do this, if you as soon as he's got his back to you, if you jump behind him, he doesn't, he doesn't pay any attention to you. So watch, you ready? You ready? Jump behind him. He ain't bothered about you at all. He isn't bothered about you at all. And the chest is right there. So if you jump behind him, he's jump walking down the steps. You're good. You're free to grab this chest. You are free to grab this chest. And it is that simple, guys. And the next one now is no doubt the easiest one to grab. That's because it's hiding behind a waterfall right there. And this is a little bit of a trek uh, to to get to. I think I sold that uh, sorted uh, roasted vegetable. I think it was a recipe. 
I don't even know where I got. I think I may have got that. I must have a random chest somewhere. I'm not even sure. But I went to sell it and I saw people selling for four. Well, people. I mean, people price things at ridiculous numbers like 450. But to me, realistically, is it going to sell for that? I'm not sure. So I just thought, you know what? I'll put it up for 200. Just, just to see. I don't need it. So I put it up. I think I've already had it. So I put it for 200. Bam, it sold within like half an hour, if that. These guys get ready to do a chest run. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Uh, so, yes, just follow the route I'm going on screen now. It's a bit of a mission, but you're all good. This is definitely the easiest chest to do. There's no two which ways about it. 100 It's just a just a just like a tr set of trek. And altogether, this will take you probably about 30 minutes or so. I mean... If you take your time, 35 minutes, I mean, it shouldn't really take it any longer than that. And then again, at the end, we'll come to a bus that is casually being farmed by tons of people. Try and get into a group there if you can. I mean, it would be pretty difficult to farm solo and efficiently, but it is possible. But um, if there's a group there and it's got a spot, join their group farm away guys because like i said the route, this route takes 30 minutes you may as well farm him for another 30 minutes because i think it's two and a half minutes uh he's on a two and a half minute respawn time so you can farm him how many times and then just reset this route if you want to run back to the start and you are good to go guys or you could farm him for an hour and start where you finish this chest run just run it in reverse you could do that as well I mean, it's obviously, it is more efficient than farming Fader Last Protector because it's guaranteed loot, which will help your gear score uh, watermarks. He doesn't, he isn't guaranteed, the uh, Fader Last Protector isn't guaranteed to drop you loot every time. I mean, it's quite often, but it isn't guaranteed and it's just like one or two pieces here and there. So yeah, but it's up to you how you run this. I mean, I'm just making a guide for you guys. You use it how you want it. Okay, so we're about 400 odd meters away from this now. I think it's about... 800, 900 meter run from the last chest, which is probably the longest run. It actually is. It's the longest run from one uh, loot point to the other here. But it's definitely worth it, guys. It's definitely worth it. 100%. And again, credit to Falanka for this actual guide. Um, my mate actually showed it me, but he was actually following a guide on YouTube. And I said, oh, oh, whose guide's that? Say some dudes on uh, YouTube with Flank, and I'm like, well, send me the guide. I'll have a look at it. I might as well credit the dude because he came up with it. It's thanks to him that I can bring you this video, even if I've brought you a few tricks and tips and tricks here. It's definitely still thanks to this dude. You know what? I've not, never actually run across the top of these rocks. I remember thinking that at the time. I always jumped down because that dude always shoots me up the ass. But I remember now running. There's two actual journals here, which I've missed how many times. We're good, we're good. And there's the second one. And I think, yeah, it's just over this waterfall right here on my left. And this is the last of the supply stockpiles. As I've water pool over there, but it looks like it's been, um, been farmed already. It's actually quite a popular area, and there's normally quite a few people farming this dude. But the problem is if you go here and there's like four groups, it's pointless doing that because as you know, loot pools split with the amount of groups that are there. But as you can see, this sneaky little supply stuff are hiding behind the water pool. Waterfall, so sneaky little thing. And you can see right here is where Faye, the last protector, is. So you just run over here. Um, it's normally on the far left hand side. If there's not one there, you want to create a campfire. So make sure you have the materials for that. Uh, just in case you do die. I mean, it's you probably won't if you're in a team. But just in case you do die. Uh, put the campfire on the far left. And the way I do it is, it's actually, I weren't doing it initially like this. But I saw a guy sitting on top of this uh, a rock, which I'll show you in a second. After I do my little bit of farming, you know. Um, a guy sits on top of the rock and just lies down and waits for him to uh, spawn in from that point. So as you come down here, you'll see, you can see the campfire on the left hand side. That's the one you want to run to and activate. 
If there isn't one there, go and create one and pull it there, 100%. And this is the rock you can lie down on, and he spawns literally right by that ancient chest. And that is the final chest you want to grab, and this is a dude you can farm over and over for that watermark. That gear score. And like I said, you may as well run this route. It takes half an hour. Farm this dude for half an hour or an hour. Run the route again in reverse if you want to. It's completely up to you how you do this. But yes, guys, that is basically it for this guide. And I really do hope it helps you out. Now, I'll leave you to watch the last minute or so of us just farming this dude a couple of times. Um, I only farmed it just to, for demonstrative purposes for the video. I went really too fast about farming him all day. I'd rather just run chests here and there. But that's just me if you want to get your gear score watermark up though this is probably the best way to do it at the moment in the game so yes guys i hope you enjoy the video if you do leave it a like it really helps me out and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one